dear all welcome to om learning classes today we have very important discussion about modulator and generation of am signals in this we have two category the first category is according to non linear circuits the non linear circuit which have no linear characteristics and as per this category we have no linear modulator and the second category is linear time variant circuit whose gain and transfer function can be varied with time and as per this classification we have switching modulator so firstly we are going to discuss about non linear modulator as per circuit we have two input the first input is your modulating signal that is mt signal and the second input we have the carrier signal which is ac cos omega ct so by doing the addition and subtraction of carrier signal with modulating signal we have at the output that is x1t and x2t very important point here we have that the carrier signal is subtracted or added from the modulating signal if you change this means the subtraction or addition of modulating signal from the carrier signal then this no linear modulator become dsbsc modulator so you always remember for am modulator the carrier signal is added or subtracted from the modulating signal now this x1t and x2t signal are passed from no linear circuit the identical no linear element such as diode or transistor can be used as no linear device and by utilizing the power series which defines the input and output characteristics of no linear device that is yt is equal to axt plus bx square t we get the y1t signal as well as y2 signal and by utilizing y1t and y2t signal we get the output zt which is as per the diagram now this zt signal is passed from band pass filter which is oriented on carrier frequency that is plus minus omega c so at the output of the band pass filter we have the signal which is equivalent to 2k into a into ac cos omega ct plus 4k b into mt into ac cos omega ct so as per the mathematical representation of a modulator so this equation is further formed which is further equivalent to 2k into a into ac bracket start 1 plus 2b by a into mt bracket close into cos omega ct now if we compare this equation with our generalized am modulated equation then we get the modulation index which is equivalent to 2b into am by a where b and a are defined as per the power series so again we have one important thing that the b is integer with respect to x square t in the power series and the a with respect to ax t so you always remember the modulation index is equivalent to 2 into the integer you utilize with respect to x square t in the power series into amplitude of modulating signal divided by the integer which you utilize in the power series with respect to xt that is a so by utilizing this modulation index we get 
द आउटपुट सिग्नल विच इज अवर ए एम मोडुलेटेड सिग्नल एंड दैट इज इक्वल एंड टू टू के इन टू ए इन टू ए सी ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट वन प्लस मोडुलेशन इंडेक्स इन टू कोस ओमेगा ब्रैकेट क्लोज इन टू कोस ओमेगा सी टी सो एज पर इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन वी हैव द बेलेस्ट मोडुलेटर बाई यूजिंग एम्पलीफाइंग डिवाइस इट कैन बी यूर ट्रांजिस्टर इट कैन बी यूर एफ ए टी इट कैन बी यूर इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्यू इन द बेलेस्ट मोड हैज द एडवांटेज ऑफ ऑटोमेटिकली बैलेंस्ड आउट द अनडिजायर्ड नॉन लीनियर टर्म्स एंड दिस मेक द फिल्टर डिजाइन सिंपल एंड दिस इज डिफरेंट इफ वी यूटिलाइज द सेमी कंडक्टर डाउट दैट इज ऑपरेटेड इन नॉन लीनियर रीजन ऑफ इट्स क्रैक्टिस्टिक्स एज नॉन लीनियर डिवाइस After non-linear modulator, we have switching modulator that is also known as chopper type modulator. Here we utilize a linear time variant circuit whose transfer function can be varied with time. Now, in this as per device, we have diode modulator which is utilized for low power applications as the diode. does not provide the amplification if we utilize transistor then it is known as collector modulation method if we utilize fet or electron tube then it is known as drain or plate modulation method so the semiconductor diode transistor fet electron tube can be utilized to provide the am generation by varying their gain parameter in accordance with modulating signal as per linear time varying circuit the all the device are operated in its linear region as per their characteristics so as per linear region the modulating signal is applied and according to their gain parameter we get the output that is our am modulated signal so this is as per diode so we utilize the modulating signal and as per modulating signal the gain parameter of the diode transistor fet or electron tube can be varied and all these are operated in its linear region and at the output we get that is our am modulated signal so as per linear characteristics we have to think the first thing the first signal is v1 t that is our input signal and at the output we have v2 t signal so the v1 t signal is the sum of modulating signal and the carrier signal that is equivalent to mt plus ac cos omega ct this v1t signal is applied corresponding to your operating device it can be your diode it can be your transistor it can be your fet it can be your electron tube and at the output we get v2t signal which shows the output if the carrier signal is positive means ac cos omega ct is greater than 0 then the diode behave as a source circuit and we get the output signal v2t and if the carrier signal is less than 0 means it is negative then the output v2t signal is absent because in this case the diode behave as open circuit so the v2t signal is present when the carrier signal is positive v2t signal is absent when the carrier signal is negative so as per this switching operation 
दिस मॉड्यूलेटर इज नोन एज स्विचिंग मॉड्यूलेशन सो एज पर मैथमेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन वी यूटिलाइज ए पीरियोडिक सिग्नल एंड दैट पीरियोडिक सिग्नल हैव देयर फंडामेंटल रेडिएशन फ्रीक्वेंसी ओमेगा सी एंड एज पर देयर ट्रिग्रोमेटिक फोरियर सीरीज द पीरियोडिक सिग्नल फाइटी is defined with respect to the cn that the coefficient and the cos and omega ct plus phi so as per the input v1t is multiplied by this periodic signal and the output we get that is v2t signal then this v2t signal is passed from band pass filter this band pass filter is centered according to the carrier frequency that is plus minus omega c so by utilizing this band pass filter we get the output that is equivalent to am modulated signal so as per special case we consider a scale pulse strain that is as shown in the diagram and by utilizing the fourier series we get their mathematical equation that wt is equivalent to 1 by 2 plus 2 by pi bracket start cos omega ct minus 1 by 3 cos 3 omega ct plus 1 by phi cos phi omega ct and up to so on that is similar to our dhpc modulator so by utilizing this mathematical equation this mathematical equation is multiplied by v1t signal that is mt plus ac cos omega ct and we get this output now this signal is further passed from band pass filter we get the signal that is equivalent to ac by 2 bracket start 1 plus 4 by pi ac into mt bracket close into cos omega ct here the amplitude sensitivity factor that is k is equivalent to 4 by pi into ac and which is our desired am modulated signal so as per the fundamental of this modulator the multiplication of the modulating signal plus carrier signal by a scalar pulse strain is in reality a switching operations in which the input signal is switched on and off periodically and very very important point that is in comparison with dsbc modulator as per am modulated equation there is no need to suppress the carrier in the output so the circuit utilized for am modulator does not have to be balanced so the result is in utility of simple modulator for am signal instead of diode bridge in dsbc we have switching modulator that is as per simple modulator circuit second diode bridge circuit it can be your series it can be your shunt it can be your ring modulator so as per am modulated equation there is no need to utilize the bridge circuit which is series bridge shunt bridge or ring modulator for am generation the simple modulator circuit can be utilized for am generation and this is different from dsbsc so as per conclusion we discuss two modulator the first modulator is your non linear modulator which operated in no linear region and the second modulator is your switching modulator in which we use simple modulator circuit and the requirement of bridge circuit is avoided in am modulator circuit as there is no need to suppress the carrier signal at the output because the in am signal the carrier is the part of am modulated scale and in switching modulator 
we take the special category as scale pulse strain. So as per the diagram, we get the result. The another important difference in comparison with DSBC that in AM modulator, we applied the sum of modulating signal plus carrier signal instead of modulating signal. And the another important point you have to remember that in no linear AM modulator, the carrier signal is added or subtracted from modulating signal. So this is very important point as per no linear modulator and as per switching modulator, the modulating signal MT plus carrier signal AC cos omega CT is applied at the input. So this is all about the modulator and generation of AM signal. Thank you very much for your precious time. Stay healthy and enjoy smart learning.